हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय वीडियोस इन दिस वीडियो आई एम इंट्रोड्यूसिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कैपेसिटी प्लानिंग एंड यूटिलाइजेशन इन ऑपरेशंस मैनेजमेंट ओके व्हाट इज कैपेसिटी प्लानिंग इट इज अ मैनेजमेंट टूल विच इज यूज टू कैलकुलेट the number of machines required because for every organization raw material machine hours and man hours are valuable resources so to satisfy the demand again i am repeating this point to satisfy the market demand we need some machine hours for producing the product so how many machine hours are required to generate that many number of machine hours how many machines are required are the two key points in this chapter fine let us see what does it mean actually with the help of a numerical problem a manager has to decide about the number of machines to be purchased he has three options that is he can go for one machine or two machines or for three machines in addition to this what is the information additional information given selling price of the product is given as rupees 40 per unit variable cost is given as rupees 20 per unit next number of machines annual fixed cost range of output is also given in the question what does it mean actually when the production manager has decided to purchase one machine fixed cost on it is rupees 10000 and he can satisfy a demand up to 400 units when he purchased or when he decided to purchase two machines fixed cost is coming out to be 12000 and how many units demand he can satisfy up to 700 units demand he can satisfy when he decided to purchase three machines what is the fixed cost is getting 20000 rupees is the fixed cost and a maximum of 1000 units demand he can satisfy see what is required in the question calculate the break even point for each range calculate the break even point for each range what is your second question if the projected demand is between 600 to 750 again i am repeating this point if the projected demand is between 600 to 750 units how many machines should the manager has to purchase so once again underline the last point how many machines the manager has to purchase so you have to take a decision on this one so my decision is based on the value of break even point so let us go for break even point break even point in units is equal to fixed cost divided by contribution per unit break even point is equal to fixed cost divided by contribution per unit so let us calculate contribution per unit 
is equal to selling price minus variable cost. Contribution per unit is equal to selling price minus variable cost. Selling price is given as rupees 40. Variable cost is given as rupees 20. So this is rupees 20 per unit. This is rupees 20 per unit. Now, break even point for one machine. Break even point for one machine. This is rupees 10,000 fixed cost. And oh, contribution per unit is rupees 20 per unit. Contribution per unit is rupees 20. Rupees, rupees cancel, one zero cancel. 500 units. Break even point is equal to 500 units. So for two machines, for oh, two machines, Break even point is equal to, look at the question, fixed cost is given as 12,000, fixed cost for two machines is given as 12,000. So this is equal to rupees 12,000 divided by rupees 20 per unit. Rupees 12,000 divided by rupees 20 per unit. This is equal to 600 units. This is equal to 600 units. Now, for three machines, break even point is equal to. Now, see the fixed cost for three machines. 20,000 rupees is the fixed cost. So this is rupees 20,000 divided by rupees 20 per unit is equal to 1,000 units. Okay. Look at the working part once again. It is given in the question. For one machine, fixed cost is equal to 10,000. Contribution, we calculated as rupees 20 per unit. Contribution is calculated as rupees 20 per unit. So, break even point for one machine is equal to rupees 10,000 divided by rupees 20 per unit. This is equal to 500 units. Similarly, if for two machines, fixed cost is given as 12,000. Therefore, break even point is equal to rupees 12,000 divided by rupees 20 per unit. This is equal to 600 units. For three machines, break even point is equal to rupees 20,000 divided by rupees 20 per unit. This is equal to 1,000 units. So, this is main working part of the question. See what is required in this question. Find the break even point for each range or determine the break even point for each range that part is over now you have to take a decision on how many machines the manager has to purchase that depends on break even point and capacity of the machines let us see break even point for one machine is break even point for one machine is 500 units but if I purchase, assuming myself as the production manager, how many units of demand I can satisfy? 
a maximum of 400 units. This point again I am repeating. For one machine, break even point you are getting at 500 units. But with one machine, we can satisfy a demand of 400 units only. Otherwise, we can produce 400 units. So, break even point for one machine is greater than its maximum capacity. So, purchasing of one machine is completely ruled out. Again, this decision point I am repeating. Break even point for one machine is 500 units which is greater than its maximum capacity. Therefore, purchasing of one machine is completely ruled out. Let us see for two machines option and three machines option. When I decided to purchase two machines, break even point for two machines is 600 units. Break even point for two machines is 600 units. With two machines, how many units demand we can satisfy? A maximum of 700 units. Okay. It means break even point for two machines is less than their maximum capacity. Next. For three machines, break even point is 1000 units. Now look at this. Maximum demand is 1000. When I decided to purchase three machines. Okay. Now what to do? <clears throat> How to take a decision? What to do here? Let us concentrate on the additional information given. Projected demand is between 600 and 750 units. Projected demand is between 600 and 750 units. Okay. Now let us see. If I consider the upper limit for the demand. Upper limit for the demand which is 750 units. 750 units is less than 1000 which is the break even point for three machines very important point i am repeating again upper limit of the projected demand is 750 units which is less than break even point for three machines therefore purchasing of three machines is also ruled out so what decision finally left over for the manager purchasing of two machines. So what is the final conclusion? Purchase two machines and accept A demand of 600 units, sorry, accept a demand of 600 units and or reject the further demand. Sorry, look at this point once again. With two machines, we can satisfy a demand of 700 units. We can satisfy a demand of 700 units for two machines. Therefore, what is the final conclusion? Purchase two machines. Purchase two machines and accept a demand of 700 units. Accept a demand of 700 units and reject the further demand reject the further demand 
So in this case, what is the advantage the company is having? Since the company is accepting a demand of 700 units, it is getting break even at 600 units. It is getting break even at 600 units on additional 100 rupees. Sorry, on additional 100 units, the firm is earning the profit. So, final conclusion is purchase two machines, purchase two machines and accept a demand of 700 units and reject the further demand. Clear? That's all in this video with some more numerical problems. We'll meet again in the next video. Thank you.